How's everybody doing? Mike Dixon, Simple Your Voice, come at you with Friday Carvalog. As you can see, it's a sunny but cold 31 degrees here in New Jersey, South Jersey that is. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody had a good week, very uh, uh, tech-worthy week. And again, I hope everybody, hashtag, is enjoying your tech. Well, you know what the subject's going to be? You know what? You know what's going to be? Hold on, wait a minute. Let me take a sip of my 7-Eleven coffee. This week, uh, what was it? Uh, oh yeah, a Samsung Unpacked event. And boy, we got a lot. We got we got a lot to talk about here. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. First off, what what I see? I did a live stream, which by the way, I'll leave a link here to it. Uh, I'm not, it's not going to stick around long. Uh, I suggest if you watch it and then try to watch at the same time. Uh, the event itself. I'm making a uh, live comment uh, to it. I didn't want to have it playing in the background for fear of a copyright strike. Yes, later in the video, later in the stream, I did unplug my uh, headphones from it, so then you could hear it. Yeah, you know what? I, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought yeah, let me do a live stream and didn't really consider what the replay implications could be. Uh, you, you'll get more out of it if you were to watch it while it's, uh, while, you know, like you have like a second screen, split screen, dual screen, something on those lines. Uh, and then you could, I'm making a comment about this stuff. Some of my, I don't want to say takeaways, some of my thoughts here is the following. You first what came to mind was I happened to have just well just looked before and I looked and confirmed again. If you look at those camera module, you look at the camera rings, how big and and how those camera rings are. It almost like for me I own 13 iPhone 14, uh, where they're prominent, they're large. You know, did they clean up the design? Yeah, of course. It 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 does scream scream. Interif, small uh, improvements to the physical physicality of the device. But that's across all, all of them. They all have that kind of camera ring going on. Uh, which is cool, you know. So that hopefully that that design language is, uh, filters down to their other A-line devices. Excited to see that. I thought they were going to announce that. Not at the show, but afterwards, but I guess the A54 is not getting released. Uh, I thought I heard a few uh, uh, talk about that getting released the same day as the S line, so I guess we're going to have to wait for that one. They focused on camera performance heavily. They focused on Samsung's ecosystem partnering with Microsoft and that's been there that that, that partnership's been there it's just been sh slow to mature we have right now it's, it's straight up there, there were things that were going on I, I may I can't remember the biggest one that sticks out for me is I can't remember everyone but the one that sticks out is how seamless the the passing of information. Oh yeah, well yeah, a nearby share was one, and how how you could have uh, your uh, laptop and your tablet and use your tablet as a second screen.
screen and move that, you know, move whatever is on one screen to the other or back or forth. And, and that's just so, that is just so much of going after Apple. And again, I will say it, you know, might be a little too late, folks. You're, you might be a little too late with this. But, hey, you're, you're, you're giving it a shot. You're giving it a try. You know, I, I hope Samsung succeeds and puts a, a you know, it, it's not a forgotten thought. Like Dex is. Dex, to me, is, is becoming... There's no, you don't see, you don't know anybody. I don't know anybody who's taking advantage of Dex that is not a techie. Not as one who has a YouTube channel and, and or comments on Twitter about their, their, their tech using Dex. And yeah, the iPad and the iPhone rules here in North America. But they're finally getting an ecosystem really tight, tightened up. Oh, at the end, they had the CEO of, of uh, Qualcomm and, and the CEO, uh, well, not the CEO, the product manager, Hershey Blackheimer. Uh, there, I believe he's product project manager for Google. And how the integration of, of, of AR and VR technology working with Samsung, that's, that's interesting. You know, like we've seen this before. <laughs> Not those two up on stage, but but you know, remember the remember the I forget what it was called the uh, Gear VR or VR Gear. Man, they they had they had the hardware. They had the, the and then boop, it fell off. So so does this does this mean that they got a little inside track? Maybe Apple's going to come out with something biggest thing, the biggest, the, the, the probably the most talked about thing right now, as of this recording from, from Wednesday, uh, February 1st, today's February 3rd, and still will be talked about for some time, is trade-in values. Trade-in values have plummeted. They are, I called it trash, and it was not, you know, we, and George, to George's point, mobile geezer, that we've become spoiled. Yeah, yeah, we did become spoiled. After event, after event, after event. The insane trade-in values from last year's device to this year before was ridiculous. The party's over, folks. And, and the biggest thing is, I just remember the other thing I forgot I wanted to discuss about the phone. The, uh, the, the biggest thing is it to me is the shift in the get the better deal through the carrier I am seeing Verizon uh, practically give an S23 plus for free if you pour it in they are throwing in a free tablet of course you need a line of service a watch you need a line of service but still you can walk out of it with a phone tablet and watch Granted, you have now three lines of service on those devices for free. Google Fi. I can't get over Google Fi. Now, here's the only drawback for me. What would be for me is to take advantage of getting, I think, yeah, the S23 Ultra. They lowered the price. They got the price halved at five, like $599. Trade in my iPhone 13 Pro and get a trade in of 525. You heard me right. I will be spending less than a hundred dollars on the S23 Ultra, but that will require me to port my number over and basically stick with them for a length of time. How long? I did not get into details. I did not get into what what that would incur. That's a hell of a deal. A tempting deal. I will admit, tempting. Okay. The deals are going to be crazy. 
out of the carriers and that's where the shift is happening. I strongly feel, again, the carriers are, are well, I don't know if the carriers are strong arming or is Samsung bowing to the carriers to get their product out. The other thing, I, the other point that I almost forgot was no eSIM. Looks like we have another year using a real physical SIM card. Uh, so, thank goodness. <laughs> but I think I kind of, I, I wonder if that whole eSIM thing, they, they, they stuck that in there. If you know what I mean, they, that they stuck it in uh, and, and Samsung was not ready for it. So maybe next year will be, you know, Samsung will go eSIM. I hope not. I, I think it's a, I think it's a bad idea personally. It's just me. Just by my, my two cents. Today's video is being shot on the S22. In further news, uh, I have parked the Pixel 7. I parked it. I have moved my Galaxy Watch 4 Classic to the Samsung device. And guess what? I have Google Assistant now working. I have all the features. And you knew that. You knew that this would happen. I have all the features working properly. The EKG, the health monitor, it's all working on this Samsung device. I could not get some of those things I mentioned to work properly on my Pixel 6. My Pixel 6 is back on a line of service and I still don't have an update. Which, by the way, it's on T-Mobile. So, I, I, I don't know what, I don't know what to say about that. I, I don't, it's frustrating. It's, it's really frustrating. Am I, am, I am still team, um, team pixel. You know, you go with the good and the bad. You go with the good and the bad, and this is one of those bad things. But. It's a little disappointing, and it's not all its not all Google's fault. I don't know what's the problem here. I'm waiting to see what February brings, what is being done about that. S22 is a really nice device. I do like the compact part. I seem to me... I've taken, I snapped a photo of my dog being herself. And I will post that picture here. And if you look at the, the, the portrait effect, the, the it just really came out a great, great photo. There, you know, there was no post shot. And there's a lot of neat now camera features with the portrait mode, a lot of effects, which I thought were really cool. My bad, I got an Android 13, I really didn't die, that was like the first time I really took notice. I don't remember these effects ever being in in, a, in this phone. Uh, word of the day is going to be, let's go with S23 Ultra. S23 Ultra. If you made this for a few things, first off, channel news, or, or, Tonight, Friday night, Friday night tech talk over on Georgia Channel. I will be on briefly. I will make an appearance. I would like to uh, try and hop on for a little bit. So if you know, if I don't for any reason, please support George. He's a good friend, and uh, he does. He, you know, it's just like us, small YouTuber. Be it as far. Put in the word of the day. Uh, new to the channel? Consider subscribing. Joining this ever-growing community of simply device-like-minded people. And as always, new subscribers, I mean, uh, passive subscribers coming, checking out the video. Thank you so much. Uh, let me cut it out of here. It's way, a lot of editing I got to do. 
I'm Mike Dixon. This is Simply Your Device. And as always, enjoy your tech and have a good weekend.